Hey, what's up, y'all? So, a few days ago, I was on the internet, I was on YouTube, looking at some of the freshly posted videos, and I couldn't believe what I saw. I saw a video posted by somebody, I swear, thought, I thought fell off the face of the earth, and unfortunately, he's still with us. This guy is a liar, he's a thief, He's a no good motherfucker, is what he is. Fucking scum. And the person I'm telling you about here is this dipshit. This is the video that was posted. Posted by Karg Knives. That's K A R G Knives. He's a, you know, quote unquote, uh, knife maker, knife pimper. He's a fucking joke is what he is. And as I said, he's a thief. Absolute dirt ball. Let me tell you my experience with him. A little over a year ago, I sent him two knives. Spyderco Titanium Military. My baby. My, one of my favorite uh, EDC knives there. And the Emerson Mini A100. Now the Spyderco, you're looking at about a $250 knife. You know, you can find them at a little lower, just that in that range. I did pay $250 for this one. The Emerson, $100 plus. So, you know, over $350 worth of hardware there. I sent him these two knives. What we had agreed upon was he was going to do G11 scales, which is like an upgrade from G10. One scale on the Spyderco. Uh, and front and back scales and a backspacer on the Emerson. Uh, pattern was going to be up to him. They were going to have glow inserts, both of them. The Emerson front and back glow. The backspacer was going to be all glow, glow in the dark. And there was going to be no pocket clip. Well, as you can see from these two knives, they're very much stock. And they're stock for a reason. It's because the dipshit never followed through on the deal. So I sent him these knives, we had talked on the phone, I had talked to him personally, we agreed on the work, we agreed he was going to have some, I guess you could say, artistic freedom with them, and uh, the cost for this was going to be $220. Pretty steep, I think, but I was willing to pay it and uh, get some work by him because I, like a lot of people, thought he had some talent. Thinking is not one of his talents. Um, so I sent him the knives. <coughs> we had agreed on a two month time frame. Had no problem with that. Two months, no, no biggie. Well, two months come and go pretty quick. Three months came and went pretty quick as well. Fourth month, I was getting a little bit worried. Uh, I kind of started hearing some rumblings on the forums about him. It was in the fifth month, and, and, and I tried to stay up with him, uh, maybe once a week or you know every other week or whatever. I would try to contact him and ask for a status update since he was never willing to give one himself. And he kept telling me they were almost done, they were almost done. He even told me they were about to ship. Granted, that was in the two to three month you know time frame. And about five months in, I'm getting really pissed because I keep hearing the same story over and over and over again. Well, <laughs> once those stories kind of weren't cutting it, he started coming up with excuses. First, he says his, his kid was sick. Then, he was sick. Then, his kid had a birthday. Personally, I don't give a flying fuck if the kid is sick or not. If I have a family member sick, guess what? I still have to go to work. So, you know, he made a deal. He needs to stick with it. Uh, so let's see. We're about five months into it. I'm really getting pissed off with it. Uh, I'm getting more demanding, and I'm, I'm contacting him almost daily now. Uh, he's he long since has quit returning phone calls and text messages and emails. Just basically, you know, I don't exist to him anymore. <clears throat> anymore. Uh, 
even though he still has my money, he still has my knives, you know. These, I, I don't apparently matter to him, so. Uh, it got to the point where I was so sick of his bullshit and his excuses. Oh, and one more thing before I continue here. He actually moved. He was located here in Texas, in San Antonio, I believe. And I'm in Houston, so I'm only a few hours drive from there. And then he moved all the way up north. Didn't, didn't tell me, didn't tell anybody that I know of. I found out through Mark Steven Business, a fellow YouTuber on here, that he had moved. And at 31 years old, I have moved in my life a total of eight times. And I know for a fact that shit gets lost in transit. Every move, people lose stuff. So I didn't appreciate him taking my knives cross country with him and risking them being lost or damaged in the move. Uh, he didn't have my permission to do that. Uh, anyway, at about the five month mark, somewhere in the five month mark, I told him that if I didn't get my knives back, I was gonna start the process and take him to court and sue him for the cost of the knives and the cost of the work. That got his attention and I promise you Excuse me. I promise you it was not an idle threat. I am more than willing to go out of my way to make a point. I've done it before. I'll damn sure do it again. So, uh, the threat of a lawsuit definitely got his attention, though. And he actually told me that he had the work done, but he sent my knife scales to some dipshit in, I think, San Antonio or Austin or wherever the hell he sent them. But anyone out there right now that's using their brain knows that that's a pack of lies. Because why would he have made the scales and, hello, not attach them to the knives? That's part of why I paid so damn much money for them. He makes the scales, he puts them on. I'm not going to pay that kind of money to disassemble and reassemble my own knives. So, of course, that's another bullshit lie. Six months in, he, he didn't make a damn thing. Uh, at the very tail end of it, I got so irate with it that I just kept calling him. I called him time and time again. It would ring, go to voicemail. I called back. Ring, it would go to voicemail. I was going to fill up his voicemail and I was going to blow his phone up. And I was going to bug him until he answered the damn thing. And I was off that day, so I had all damn day to do it. Uh, I told him on the voicemail... I said, how would you like it if your little kid sent an, some knife or sent anything out to get some work done and the person treated them the way you're treating me? You know, they're lying to them, they got their item, they got their money, and nothing's happening with it. And I guess it struck a chord with him because that's when he finally returned the phone call. But he wanted to be a little smartass and be a little bitch about it. Uh, he answers the phone real, you know, smartassy. Like, yeah. I tell him who it is, even though he knows who it is, and uh, he's like, yeah, okay. I say, well, I want my knives. Where are they? And he says, I got them. He's told me, I can't tell you how many fucking times that he has mailed these damn things. He said his wife has mailed them, and if his wife is anything like him, God help us. Because goddamn, they're breeding, apparently. But, um, he, he, sat, he sat there, he gave me all his woes and all his problems, and honestly, I don't care. You know what, you treated me like shit, I don't give a damn. So, he tells me that he couldn't afford $5 to mail my knives back to me. Not my problem, you know what, sell some blood or something. And, uh... He did. He, he made good on it this time, finally. He gave me a tracking number. He put the knives in a box, mailed them back to me. The kicker here is, because I got my knives back, I got them stocked, they were in the same shape they went to them in, thankfully. He uh, said he could, make the, he could still make the scales, even though he didn't have the knives. I guess he had templates or something. But he said he could still make the scales if I wanted, and he could send them when they're done. This, I got these knives back last October. So what is that? 
uh, eight months ago. Never got any scales. I actually told him that I would rather have a refund, that I would rather just be done with it completely. And he said he would have no problem if that's what I wanted, he would do a refund. And as I said, it's been eight months, no refund either. So when I say he is a thief and a fucking liar, I have good reason. I have all the messages, all the text messages and all the uh, voicemails that he's called on my phone and sent to my phone still there just should I ever need it for anything I still have on my PayPal account where I send him the money so I have proof that I send him money what I don't have is two knives that he promised to do the work on so anyone out there looking to get knives done by card knives uh, whether it be a, um, a knife made by him or just get some work done to existing knives this is your buyer beware. Do not send this jerk off any of your knives. Uh, I had seen on the forums people who sent him striders and he had held on to them uh, from what they're saying over a year and they still had no knife. So <laughs> his work to me, it ain't that fucking good to wait a year for. It's not a full blown custom. It, he's putting scales on the damn thing. So if you want work done, go to some of the other fellow YouTuber, YouTubers to get the, get the work done. We all know Tough Thumbs. Everybody out here knows Tough Thumbs and seen the work he's done. He's very consistent, very talented, very reasonably priced. Uh, at Peace Peace, I believe. Uh, I think his website is Bison Knives, if I remember correctly very talented himself he's come a long way in a short time so there's people out there that you can send your knives to that are more dependable I just don't want any of you to have to basically send your knives off and pay somebody two hundred dollars to hold them for six months and then mail them back to you in the same condition because that's basically what I did so it cost me two hundred and twenty dollars to learn a lesson don't make my mistake, people. Live from my mistakes. And uh, I guess that's it. That's all the ranting and raving I'm going to do. I probably should have warned y'all in the beginning that, uh, you know, get the little ones out of the room. But hopefully you had headphones on or something. But I would like to sign off this video by saying no matter what your belief is, karma is real. And she will bitch slap you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Anything you put out in the world will come back on you. So, to card knives, I hope you enjoy the five across the eyes that you're going to get one day. And fuck you. I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Peace.